Hello friends, in this lecture we will understand what are events. Now since we have learnt about delegates and multicast delegates in my previous lectures, it's now time to learn about events. Now what are events? Events are just encapsulation over delegates. Just like properties encapsulate private fields, event encapsulate delegates. Now one in my one of my previous lecture of properties, I have told you that in order to access private fields, we use properties. The reason why we have private fields first is because we don't want anyone to interfere with those fields. We don't want those fields to change their value. Same goes with the concept of delegates. If we don't want our delegates to be changed during our application, we use events. So in events provide a layer of encapsulation over our delegates. Now in many scenarios, we need our delegate to fire automatically when something changes. So we use events. Now, since you are listening to this video on YouTube, let's take an example of YouTube. So let's move to one of my favorite channels in YouTube and it's from Marvel Entertainment. And you can see you have around 29 lakh subscribers for this channel. The reason why we have 29 lakh subscribers is because all these 29 lakh subscribers are interested from the new trailers, events from the Marvel Entertainment. So the moment Marvel has a new trailer in store, all these 29 lakh subscribers are notified at once. And in C Sharp, this could be achieved with the help of events. You need to subscribe to something and whenever that event takes place, all the subscribers are notified. So let's move back to our slide. So delegate enables a publisher and subscriber pattern where delegate object is the publisher and target methods are subscribers. So in our example of YouTube, all the users are the subscribers and who is the publisher? The Marvel Entertainment is the publisher. Same is the case with the delegates. So let's move into our example what we used in a, the lecture of multicast delegates. So here the same example, I have a delegate of type transformer means I have named that uh, delegate as transformer and then uh, I have hook that tra transformer instance to two of my methods square and cuber and this is the square method and this is the cuber method you have seen this example in my previous lecture so this square and cuber are the subscribers that means they are subscribing to this delegate instance okay so this is the publisher subscriber pattern which is achieved with the help of delegates now let's say we have a scenario where we need a notification to inform a user whether his or her square or cuber method has finished processing okay or in other words we need to define an event which notice notifies all the users who are consuming this class so how can we achieve this with the help of events and multicast delegates so let's achieve that with the help of multicast delegates first and then i will explain you what are the problems using just the multicast delegates and where events fit in so let's have a class to notify and let's name this class as notification of methods inside this class i have one delegate of type transformer and let's let's name the instance as transformer event now this delegate instance will be responsible for notifying my subscribers. Now let me have a method that will in turn call this event which take a type of integer x and in the method I will just write transformer event is not equal to null that's because I am just checking the null difference okay and if it's not null I will just raise this event in here okay so what I have done so far I have a, a, a delegate of type transformer and I have just one method which is calling this transformer event delegate in here it's a very simple class so this class will be responsible for the notification of methods and now let's let me define 
to subscribers those will subscribe to my event and there is uh, user one and let me name it user two okay and all that this this class have is a just a notification message method okay so this method is where that event will be handled and all this method does is have a notification message this will be and that will be sent to that user and same goes with this class user 2 and now let me create the object of this class just because we need to hook some methods with delegate so i'm just creating the object now since i've created the object i'm just calling that transformer event with the help of this object and assigning it to user one dot x handler and same thing i need to do with user two y so great what i'm done i'm hooking this x handler method with transformer event delegate type so this is the same thing what i have done it here this is the method and i am hooking it with delegate instance so this is the same thing x handler is a method and i am hooking it with transformer event delegate and the reason why i am using this ob object is because this delegate is defined in other class and in order to use that delegate from other class i need to create the object of that class and then i just need to call that notify method that will in turn call my delegate so what this notify on cell method does is it will check whether this event is null or not and if it's not null it will just raise this event okay now let's try to run this program and let's enter number 15 you see 225 is the square, 3375 is the cube, event received by user 1 object, event received by user 2 object. So the notifications have reached both user 1 and user 2. And how I am achieving that? With the help of this delegate. So I am hooking this method and by handler method with that delegate instance. I hope this is clear. So it's working perfectly with the help of a multicast delegate so where do event fit in now you can see this is a delegate and i have not used a event so far yet my uh, subscribers are receiving the notifications perfectly now let's see what happens if we remove this plus operator from second line right so i have hooked this method with this delegate here and then i have hooked this method with this delegate in here and let's try to run this entry number 15 2 to 5 3 3 7 5 and event is just received by user 2 object so what this user 2 is doing this user 2 is interfering with user 1 that is user 2 is prohibiting user 1 to receive a notification and should we allow this no take for example of youtube if you have subscribed to a channel can some other subscriber of that channel prohibit you to receive all the events from that channel? No. So the idea behind it is all the subscribers should not interfere with each other. They just need, uh, ha have to subscribe and forget. They don't need to make any changes to the delegates. And this is done with the help of events. What has happened with our case? I have subscribed to this transformer event and then this Y handler comes and overrides this user one handler. So let's use a event. So let's make this de multicast delegate as a event. You can see now this delegate has turned into event and it's very simple syntax to remember. Just append event keyword with, with your delegate. But this event could, could not be defined alone you need to have a delegate for it a delegate type so if you remove this delegate your event is giving an error 
so let's get our delegate back and here this event is working properly and you can see the moment i declared a event keyword there it's what it's saying that this transformer event can only appear on the left hand side of plus equals or minus equals operator so this is saying that you cannot use this equals operator in here you need to use plus equals that means you can just subscribe or unsubscribe from this event you cannot change this event and this is the encapsulation what i was talking in the first place so this event has provided a encapsulation over my transformer event delegate so let me have this important point written in here so you can note it down you can just subscribe or unsubscribe the event by plus equals or minus equals operators and nothing else so you cannot use just the equal signs okay now let's try to run this entire number 15 225 3375 event received by user 1 object event received by user 2 object so let's move back to our slides so delegates enable a publisher subscriber pattern where delegate object is the publisher and target methods are subscribers and this we have seen events formalize this publisher subscriber pattern so the moment we used event keyword in our delegate we prohibited all the subscriber to interfere with each other you cannot change the delegate once you use event keyword and all the classes subscribed to the event are notified at once so this we have seen both of our classes user1 and user2 were notified at the same moment common example of events is email and send full notification on completion of some task and this we have seen now if you work with windows forms or window uh, wpf if you double click a button you will receive a event handler for that button so whenever that button is clicked your code will fire so that that is common scenario where we use events so i hope you understood this video in this video we tried to learn about events in c sharp in a very simple manner so thank you so very much keep learning and please do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubt please leave a comment below i will try my best to help you thank you so very much